Are you ready for some good news? Blessing others may be the simplest expression of faith imaginable, but in God's eyes, anyone who blesses others is in the faith hall of fame. Here's today's text from Hebrews chapter 11 at verse 21. By faith, Jacob, when dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, bowing in worship over the head of his staff. The marvelous recitation of the Bible's heroes of faith in Hebrews 11 includes faith giants like Abraham, who believed he could be the father of a nation when he was old and childless. The list includes Moses, who believed that slaves could be set free by the blood of a little lamb. The faith litany includes Joshua, who believed that giant walls could come down via marching and shouting. And Daniel, who believed that lions' mouths could be shut by the mercies of God. The Hebrews 11 Hall of Fame includes Elisha, who prayed for people to come back from the dead, and a prophet named Hosea, who trusted God enough to marry a prostitute. Therefore, it's more than a little surprising when the writer of Hebrews includes Jacob in the great faith list. What did Jacob do? He blessed his grandsons when he was an old man. Really? <laughs> Telling your grandchildren some nice things makes the list? Absolutely. How can laying hands on your grandchildren and affirming their future compare to shouting down walls and shutting lions' mouths? When you bless someone, you're manifesting mountain-moving faith. To be able to see someone's life unfolding in a beautiful way is a form of godliness. When you have faith for someone's life to flourish before that person has proven himself, you come very near to the heart of God. After all, the Lord called Gideon a mighty man of valor while he was trembling in a wine press for fear of the Midianites. Jesus called Peter a rock, though the disciple would deny Jesus three times. God calls you and I more than conquerors before we've proven our prowess in the spiritual battle. God sees what you ultimately are, not just what you look like today. You can bless others simply by seeing a positive vision over their lives and speaking it out in faith. It's simple. It's powerful. And it puts you in the Faith Hall of Fame. And that's the Gospel. Well, if you want to learn more about uh, finding faith for others to flourish, then I encourage you to go to Sharing the Light and get the whole broadcast. It's there for free.